Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, kids. This is your Nair, sir. Today, we are going to do quadratic equation for grade 10, exercise 4.2. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we will be solving uh, question number one, uh, 4.2. Okay, the first question. Find the root of the following quadratic equation by factorization method. See, there are three methods uh, when you want to find a root. One is by factorization, one is by squaring both the sides, square, squaring the sides, and the third one is by putting the things in the formula. In exercise 4.2, we are going to do by factorization. And you have done this in grade 9. Okay? x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Splitting the middle term. Now, when I say splitting the middle term, <clears throat> what do I need? I need to find two numbers. I need to find two numbers where the product will be minus, will be, okay. So forget about uh, the negative sign or positive sign, that we will take it later. I need number where the product is 10 and the sum is three. Take a simple one. Let me start with one, one into 10. What do I get? 10, but 10 plus one or 10 minus one. 10 plus 1 gives me 11 or 10 minus 1 gives me 9. So this is not. The second one, 2 into 5. 2 5 is a 10. It gives me this. And now, let me look at it. 2 plus 5 comes to be 7. And 5 minus 2 comes to be 3. That means I am getting this number what I need. Now, let it look at this negative sign. It's minus. Now, I need a number. If I, I need the sum to be, so that means the bigger number has to be having a sign of minus. So, the first number will be 2 and the second number will be minus 1. Now, do the calculation. 2 into minus 5 is minus 10. And 2 plus minus 5 is what? It's minus. I have got the number. This is the number that I need. Am I clear? Okay. Let's do it now. <clears throat> Splitting. I've just explained you. The number. I've just explained you. Now, how do I write this? I have got x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. x square plus 2x minus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. What are, take this first one. What can I take common out? x. What is left? x plus now, there is one thing, remember that I, I need to get x plus 2 only on this side. Okay, I need not get any other term. If I get something else, then that means I'm wrong. What is it that I can take common from here? 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 can be taken and minus also can be taken out. So, what will happen? Minus 5 bracket. What is left? x minus 5. What is left? plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, look at this. I've got x plus 2 and x plus 2 common. So, I write x plus 2. And what is left? If I take out x plus 2 from here, so what is left? x. And what is left here? Minus 5. Is equal to 0. Now, I need to just solve this. So, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Line it up. x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to transposing what it becomes minus 2. And what does here it becomes? 
minus 5 changes to plus 5. So my answer is x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to plus 5. Okay. Now let us just see. See the first step, the second step, the third step, the fourth step, and the fifth step. See, steps are very important. You have to focus on making sure that after seeing the video, you have to do the question. Take out your textbook and do the question by yourself. Then and then only you will understand that where are you making a mistake. And mostly I will tell you one thing, kids. You will, if you are, if you will make a mistake, you're only going to make a mistake when you are doing integer addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And if this particular level of vitamin is short with you, I recommend you to solve as many questions on a regular basis. What you will just need is you may have to solve it only for seven to 10 days. And if you solve it seven to 10 days, this particular level of integer in your mathematic blood vessel will come to the normal level and you will not make mistake. Okay, let's take the second question. Find the root of the following quadratic equation by factorization. Again, by the splitting method. What is the question that I've got? I've got the question as 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. I need to have a product that should be 12 and the sum needs to be 1. I'm not taking the sign for now, right now. Okay? So just focus on what we are doing. Product needs to be minus, okay, product needs to be 12 and sum needs to be 1 into 12, that is the first one. 2 into 6, that is the second term. Now, 1 plus 12 is 13, 12 minus 1 is 11, so this is not. 2 plus 6 is 8, 6 minus 2 is 4, this is not. 3 into 4, what am I getting? 3 into 4, 3 into 4 is 7 and 1. Yes, I have got my number. Now, what I just need to look at is, what sign and where, what is the sign where I need to put? I have got plus x. So that means the bigger number will be plus. And what will be the smaller number? I have got this as minus 12. So what will this become? It will be minus 3. So minus 3 into plus 4 is minus 12. And 4 minus 3 plus 4 is 1. I have got the number. Now, what I just need to do, I need to substitute this value. And as every time I say, whatever your work is, you need to make sure that you draw a line and do the work on your side, okay? So don't forget that. One second. Now here, two x square, plus 1x minus, hey, sorry, I've got 4, my 4 and 6. I got 4 and 6. Minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, look at this. What is that I can take common? In this, what is that I can take common? I can take 2 common and I can take x common. So what is left? X plus 2. Again, repeating the same thing. Whatever I'm going to get in this bracket has to be the same. If it is not same, then. Now, what can I take from here? Can I take minus common? Yes. 3. What is left? X. And what will be this? Plus 2. Is equal to 0. X plus 2 is common. 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So now, solving this, how do I solve it? x plus 2 is equal to 0. Draw the line. 
टू एक्स माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो x इज इक्वल टू ट्रांसपोजिंग माइनस टू टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री तो x इज इक्वल टू मल्टीप्लाइंग तो ट्रांसपोजिंग विल बिकम थ्री अपॉन टू यस इन केस इफ यू हैव गॉट एनी चैलेंज इन सॉल्विंग एल जेब्रा वॉट आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड फॉर ट्रांसपोजिंग सॉरी spelling is wrong transposing okay that means lhs is equal to rhs and whatever shifting you are doing you need to know what it is get this level clear in your mind and if there is a shortage again the same thing solve algebra equations as many and then again the same thing Five to seven days goes. Once that is done, your level of that particular thing will be clear. Now let us see to write it down. How do you write? Two x square minus plus x minus six. Splitting the middle term, I get the term, and I substitute that term. Take the common. Solve one by one. And that's my answer. Hope you are liking it. Okay, write it down. Don't write right now. I don't want you to write right now. Only watch the video for now, because after completing the video, I want you to solve each question by yourself, just taking the textbook, and do not cheat. Okay, because you are not cheating me, you are cheating yourself. Because you, then you will not know where what shortage are you doing. What is the shortage that you have to overcome with? Okay, let's take the third question. There are I think four or five questions on this. This is another question. <clears throat> Square root again, same thing. Now look at this. This all thing you have studied in either in grade seven, eight, nine, and that time you would not have been very focused or you would not have understood. Now all these are very important. So now again the same logic. If I have got a shortage of uh, solving square root multiplication, addition, subtraction, I need to learn that again for five to seven days. Do around ten questions every day, and that will get that particular level to a normal level, and you will be very happy to do mathematics. Let's do it. Square root two x plus seven x plus five root two. What is that I need to do? I need to get the product as what root two into five root two, and the sum needs to be seven. Now root two into five root two will be what five into two, and that will be ten. And the sum has to be seven, one into ten, first number. So one plus ten is eleven, and one ten minus one is nine. No, it doesn't meet me. Two into five. Two five is a ten. I'm getting it. And two plus five is seven. I've got my number. Now let me just substitute this. Root two x square. Plus two x plus five x plus five root two is equal to zero. Root two x and two x. What now? Look at this. What is the common thing I can take out? Can I take root two out with x? What will be left? X plus root two. Why? Two can be written as two. Got it? Okay. So, chalo, aage bhatte hain. Plus, what can I take common? Five. Again, the same thing. I need to be very watchful of this x plus two. So, I need to be very watchful. One sec. I need to be watchful on this. So, whatever I am going to have, I am going to get the same thing here. Okay. So, let's do. Five common bracket. If I take five out, what is left? Five 
t is equal to 0. So, what do I get? x plus root 2 bracket. What is left? Root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0. Again, solving it now. x plus root 2 is equal to 0 and root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to minus root 2 and root 2 x is equal to minus 5 x is equal to minus upon 2. This is my answer. Okay, let's see how to do it step by step. <coughs> Getting the middle term. The sum has to be 7, product has to be 10. Substitute. Solve. That's it. You're with me? Fantastic. Let's take the second one. Next one. 2x square minus x plus 1 upon 8. Oh, this is a bit different question. What is different in this? See, every question, whenever uh, the teachers are going to check your knowledge of quadratic equation, they need to check it with all the levels. No? Because tomorrow, when you're going to go higher up in the grade, you need to know what are the possible questions. 2x square minus x plus 1 upon 8 is equal to 0. How can I solve this? No, I cannot solve this. Multiply all around by 8. That means what I'm saying here, here, 8. When I multiply this 8, I need to even multiply this right hand side also with 8. I did that. 8 to the 16x square minus 8 ones are 8. 8x plus 8 into 1 upon 8. What will happen? Gets cut off. What is left? 1. So can I write this as 1? 1. Is equal to 8 zeros are 0. I've got now the quadratic equation form. Okay. Now the product needs to be what? 16. How am I getting the 16? This coefficient of x square multiplied by the quotient is what I'm getting. Sum needs to be what? 8. I'm leaving the sign later. I'm not taking any sign right now. 1 into 16. 16 plus 1, 17. 16 minus 1, 15. No. 2 into 8. 8 plus 16. 8 plus 2, 10. 8 minus 2, 6. No. 3, it is not there. So 4 into 4. 4 for the 16. 4 plus 4 is 8. Now I just need to look for sign. The It's a minus sign. So what I will do? Minus 4 and minus 4. Let me put minus 4 and minus 4. Minus 4, minus 4. When I add, what do I get? Minus 8. And 4 for the 16, what do I get? Plus 16. I've got my number. What I just need to do? Need to substitute. Hope you are understanding. Huh? See, the reason I'm doing this step every time is you can, you can do it faster. But do fast only if you're confident. Otherwise, go slow. No problem. 16x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. What can I take common? I can take 4x common and 4x minus 1. Ah, 4x minus 1. I need 4x minus 1. So what can I take? 1 can I take common? So minus 1 common, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Remember that these two have to be the same. These two have to be the same, okay? So don't make that cross check on that every time. Now I write the first one, 
4x minus 1 and 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, what do I do? Let 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 and 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, 4x is equal to 1 goes to this side becomes positive x is equal to 1 upon 4. 4x, the same thing, 1x is equal to 1 upon 4. My answer, the root of this is 1 upon 4, 1 upon 4. Now, let's see the steps. What did I do? Multiply both the side by 8. Why did I multiply it? Because 1 upon 8, I cannot solve. Okay. In, in a quadratic equation, the constant has to be a natural number, uh, sorry, an integer, plus, minus, whatever. Okay. It cannot be a fraction. If I, whenever you get a fraction in a quadratic equation, convert that into a integer. Okay. It cannot be v by q form. Okay. Got it. Splitting the middle term. I've shown you the step, how it came to 4 by 4, 1 into 16. I did all that step. Okay. And if you don't understand so what you can do is you can replay the same video. Huh? If you don't understand something, replay the same video, understand it, and then afterwards go it. If you are understood, then only go further. And the reason of making this video and teaching you through video is you can see my video anytime. Plus, at the same time, this PowerPoint presentation is available for you. So, whenever, you, like, you know, uh, I have seen, I have noticed that uh, kids have bigger memory when they see the PowerPoint presentation and they can just revise it. When you're going to revise your exam, ke liye na, so you will, it will be very easy for you to just see it across. Okay. I think the uh, last question. 10x square minus 20x plus 1. Okay, it is in a form of uh, quadratic equation. So, there is nothing which is irrational. Now, product needs to be 100 and sum needs to be 20. Okay, for well, you are this thing, 2 into 50. No, 52 aata hai, 48 aata hai. So, this is not. 3, no, 4. 4 into 25. 25 plus 4 is 29. 25 minus 4 is 21. No. 5. 5 into 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. And 20 minus 5 is 15. No. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9. No. 10 into 10. I could have directly come on this. But why I'm doing this step is because whenever you get a number and if you do this, you will never make a mistake. Okay. 10 into 10 is 100. And this is minus 20. So that means I will have minus 10 plus minus 10. So what That is minus. So I've got my number. What do I do? 100 x square minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. What can I take common? I will take 10x common. Bacha kya? 10x minus 1. What can I take common? 1. So minus 1. 10x minus 1. Again, look at this. I have got both the same. Okay. Now, I take 10x minus 1 common and what is left? Yeah, same thing. Minus 1 is equal to 0. This is my equation. Then what do I do? 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. Like 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 10x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 upon 10. Same. x 1 x is equal to 1 upon 10. Hope you have understood it. Okay, let's see the steps now. Splitting the middle term. See, they are directly, it's like directly being done. 
you can very well do it but uh, all every time remember one thing kids i repeat this every time whenever you are solving in your answer paper make sure that in your there is a line drawn the right hand side is for you you can do all your rough work and even the rough work has to be very neatly done kichri mat pakao okay so hope you have understood this i think uh, we have yes we have reached to the last part of our class uh for this video okay uh share it across to your friends uh, let them know how you learn and probably like you know you will help them in understanding okay have a lovely day take care bye bye